morning and welcome to Pick and Boots. Um, my Facebook page, I'm just going to refresh my computer here and see if we are on because I was having some difficulties. I've been trying to come on and it just keeps booting me out. I don't know why I'm not in Facebook jail. <laughs> anyway, um, let me just scroll up here and see. If, yep, looks like I'm going, yay. Okay, um, I haven't been on in a week or two. Um, I've been sick, but I'm feeling so much better now. And I'm here to finish up this buffet. I painted this in the um, silk, this paint by Dixie Bell. This is in Hampton Olive. It's a beautiful color. But it's kind of, um, it's got some nice clean lines, but it's kind of boring. So I want to add a little bit of detail to it. So today, what we're going to do, um, if you haven't heard of these before, we're going to be using some Would You Bend. And I'll be bringing the camera closer so you can kind of see what I'm doing. But these are the Would You Bends. And I'm going to add them about here, put one here, and then I also have, this is really cool, see the little, it's like a little key. And then I'm going to put that strategically right here, so it looks like it used to have a key. I wonder, maybe I should put another one there. We'll have to decide that later. Anyway, so, um, like I said, I've already painted this. Um, I cleaned it with uh, white lightning, scuff sanded it, and then put two coats of Hampton Olive. Um, silk paints is gorgeous, uh, 20 colors, and it's mildew, water, and grease resistant, which makes it really good for kitchen and bathrooms. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So let me bring this in. And the Would You Bend, this is the one I'm gonna use right here. Oops, where's my camera? There we go. Um, they're hard. But once you use a, your heat gun, heat them up, they become pliable. Then we're simply going to glue them on and it's going to add a lot of detail to our piece. So let me go ahead and do that. And you need to be really careful with your heat gun because it does hurt. <laughs> you actually touch the top when it's hot. So once you heat the wood you bend up, it becomes pliable and you can bend it. See that? So if you wanted to wrap a certain design around the corner, you could do that. I'm not doing that with this one. I'm just going, oops, straight down, but. Just get All right, so let me get just some regular old wood bend. That tight bond is good, wood glue. I'm going to apply it. Making sure you get the glue everywhere. So I'm just going to take my finger, got a little bit of excess there, take my finger and smooth it out. And then I'm going to place it. I'm lining it up with the top line of the drawer. That way I'll know for the other four that I'm going to put on exactly where I'm putting it. So it'll be even. I'm going to apply pressure for a minute. I'm going to heat activate it again. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm gonna use just a little bit of blue tape and I'm gonna hold it on. Just because I don't want it to slip or fall while I'm working on the other one. So let's bring this part in. Okay. Oops, just fell off my wheel. <laughs> hold on. Oof, these wheels are nice, but sometimes they act up. All right, so here's another one. Let's bring this in a little bit closer. See, it's got beautiful lines, but it's really kind of boring. So that's why I'm deciding to add these would you bends. So here's another one. I'm going to put it right here and heat this up. Now there's different ways you can heat these up. You can heat them up um, with heat gun, a blow dryer. You can even put them um, on a pancake griddle, that way if you have a bunch of them, you can just lay them out. <clears throat> That's the nice thing about the Would You Bend compared to the, the regular old appliques. Those, once they're heated up, they won't do this. Oops, get my camera. See, they bend. So they can go to any surface 
that you need them to go on, whether you're it's a flat surface or you're bending it. So I'm just putting a nice even layer of glue on there. And then I'm lining it up with this top line and I'm going to apply pressure. I want that to be on there. Make sure that's on. And I'm going to take just some blue tape, hold it in place while I'm working on other ones. more just as long as they don't fall off my wheels so I have two more to apply and then we're going to uh, add the keyhole these woody bins are great they come in all different shapes and sizes um, they have dragons they have um, molding so trim so let me get back in picture so like if you wanted to trim out this whole piece there it comes in a a, a big uh, round um that you just heat up and it just you can take it apart you can cut it to whatever size you need i'll show you to you just a second let me see i'll heat this one i put it on okay my glue Just spreading the glue, making sure I get all over because I don't want the wood bend to fall off down the road. I want it to stay. And once you get these on and you paint them, they look exactly like they were that like they came on the piece, like it was original to the piece, which is nice. This is what I was talking about, let me show you. So, we have these big coils, and they have all, we have ones with all different kinds of designs, and you heat them up, and then you can glue them if you wanted to frame, like if, see how I have this edge here? This came natural on here, but if I wanted to add some deco decoration to it, I could add some of this. Because once this is heated and becomes pliable, you can just take scissors or a razor blade, and they cut really easily. Okay, so let's do my last one here. Of the bag. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I gotta heat it up first. If I didn't heat it up, I could still glue it on, but it's it won't be where you can get it 100 percent flat. So I always like to make sure they're heated nice so they're pliable and they fit the surface. Though my surface is flat, so it makes it easier. A little bit of glue. Turn it around. And I'll put, I don't know if this is in the camera. Let's put this over here. There we go. Hold that for a second. A little bit of blue tape just to hold it. And now I'm doing it with this piece standing up. You can absolutely, if it's easier, lay your piece down and that way it'll stay on a little easier. You don't have to worry about the blue tape. Okay, now we need to do, look at this little keyhole. How cute is he? Okay, so we're gonna put right here in the middle. So it looks like there used to be a hole for a key there. Now I just wanna measure it. I'm gonna measure the holes, which is, Approximately 20, so I want to go about 10. And that is right there. Now, I'm going to take my little guy and make, it's going to make a little teeny mark. Oops. And the Would You Bend has all different sizes and shapes of the keyholes. We carry a bunch of them in the store. You can also go online and get some too. They're just super easy to use. And they add so much to your piece. Drop the little glue up here, so I'm going to steal that. Right here. You 
can use your finger or you can get a paintbrush and put the glue on whatever is easier for you and I think it's right about there so we'll put that on there let's see if it's straight sometimes it's hard to see if it's crooked when you're up so close <laughs> let's see how it looks, looks. Tape for this, hold this on. Oh, I just moved it. Darn it. Okay. Now, I'm gonna, we're gonna go back and we're gonna look at the first one. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do here. So, I don't wanna leave it this natural color that it comes. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint it the same color that the buffet is. Now, I'm going to paint it the Hampton Olive, but eventually I'm going to take some gilding wax and I'm going to use the gilding wax on the edges here. I'm gonna use the gilding wax on the original handles. Look how cute these are. I'm a big proponent of keeping the original handles of a piece. So those will go on there. And then we'll use the gilding wax on here too. I just haven't decided what color. The gilding wax comes in uh, six different colors, zinc, black, bronze, gold, copper, and silver. So I have to see what color goes best with this. So now, because of the detail and because I don't want to push this piece around because I just glued it on, I'm going to push on it. I'm using my oval small. And now... Look, let me bring it in a little closer to the camera so you can see. Okay, so <laughs> the woodsy band looks a little crooked, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move it just a bit, and hopefully it doesn't fall off. Put some more paint on there, and then let that dry. Cord. I'm running over my cord with my chair, so let me just untangle that real quick. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and do the other ones. Normally you want them to dry a little bit longer, but since we're on camera, I don't think you guys want to sit here and watch them dry, so we're just going for it. There we go. Hampton Olive. Again, because of the great detail, I'm just stippling it in or pouncing, whatever you want to call it. I'm using my oval small because it, it's round and it gets in to all the little crevices here. Making sure I get the sides because I want to make sure I... And when the paint dries, it'll all be the same color because this is the exact same, same can of paint that I used when I painted this the other day. Well, there goes the other wheel. <laughs> All right, these furniture wheels are nice, but sometimes they don't play nice when you need them to. Okay, well, we're left on one wheel, so we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll just turn the camera. Okay, we're gonna go this way, there we go. All right, so now we can see my last two, and then we'll do the keyhole after that. So I'm just pouncing it in because I don't want to loosen the woodsy band because I just glued them on. Even it out a little bit. And then let's do the last one. I'm going to zip over here. Hopefully that guy's not crooked. making sure there's no drips because you don't want any drips. All right, now let's do the keyhole. And I know I just glued him on, but he should be okay to stay. Let's see, let's angle it back over here. So 
Sometimes if you put too much glue, it takes a little bit longer for them to dry. But if you put just the right amount of glue, it, it works pretty good. Okay, I'm just using a little paint. And again, I'm just going to pounce it because I don't want to push the wood you've been molding around because the glue is still wet. All right, so I'm gonna put this down and take it off the last wheel. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm gonna push it back so you can see what it looks like with all the wood you bend on it. Now keep in mind, it's not, they're not gonna stay the green. I just wanna kinda show you what, they, what it looks like with the detail of adding to it. It looks different for sure. You can still see some of the shadow around where the paint is wet. Once this is dry, I'm gonna be using the gilding wax and I'll probably go with something. Here are some of my examples. So I have gold, here's copper, and there's the zinc. Oops. So what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm just gonna to have to kind of see which one I think looks looks um, the best with it without overwhelming it because it is a gorgeous piece and then again with the hardware I'll put the same thing on the hardware so it'll brighten it up a little bit because the right now it's kind of dark and that would look okay on there however if I'm going to go ahead and use a gilding wax on the new wood you bins I just put on and on this trim that was already there I'm going to want to balance it out a little bit on the hardware too I will still leave a lot of the dark color there, but I will just, see there's like a rope. It's kind of like carved into the, I'll, I'll definitely hit that and then just brush a little bit on there and so it'll keep it two-toned. That will be on the next video though because this is still wet and I want to do it all at the same time. So it might not be a live video, I'll still probably do the video when we come back in the frame. Um, I'll probably just post it on definitely my YouTube channel, but. Um, on Facebook too, so you can kind of see it. And anyway, I want to say thank you for watching today. I'm so glad to be back. I'm feeling so much better. No fun to be sick. I don't get sick very often, so when I do, it's not fun. Um, if you're local, the Roy Cycle Treasure Paper hasn't shipped yet, but I anticipate it coming very soon. And I also just got a huge order coming in supposedly today. So hopefully I'll have it out tomorrow of a decoupage queen papers, which are totally different than the Roy Cycle. They're beautiful. So make sure you check them out. And we also have a huge selection of the Witchy Bends. Let me just grab one. We have them in all different sizes. Look at these ones. So they add so much to your piece. So I could have really went crazy on here, but I wanted to try to keep, because it has simple lines, so I just wanted very little detail. We have, there are so many. Here's, let me just show you one more because this is fun. This is a set. So you can have put one on each side. See how cute, cute those are? It might be hard to see because of the bag, but that's a cute one too. Okay, so anyway, uh, thanks for joining me today. And um, you can watch replay if you want. Um, have a great week. Thank you.